Well, for something a little bit different, the weft and warp of tartan is mostly associated with Scotland, its history and, well, I guess bagpipes. But did you ever wonder why the ubiquitous fabric can be seen on the Maasai in Kenya or throughout the Caribbean islands and places like Jamaica and Grenada? Well, on Monday, a new exhibition is starting that charts tartan's journey through the African diaspora. Well, Talika Kirkland is co curator of the Costume Institute of the African Diaspora and joins me now. Um, thank you very much. I guess the big question uh, to ask is, tell us a bit about Tartan's journey. And I, I noticed you've got some fabrics there, so perhaps that can illustrate it a bit for us. Well, um, it started actually in the Chinese desert. Right. The very first piece of Tartan was found in the Chinese desert around about the 7th century. Oh, wow. Um, and it was developed through um, the Celts, the Celtic uh, community, who then travelled west and kind of stopped right at the end of England before the big body of water. <laughs> um, and for some reason, Scotland has taken it on more than anyone else and then travelled over to India, travelled over to South Africa through war, through trade, etc., and has influenced the fabrics that were developed in these places by the kilts that the British Highland mm. soldiers were wearing. Yeah. And so um, what we have, what I have here to show you yeah. is um, this is actually a lungi, which is worn in India. Yeah. And um, actually Czech fabric has been developed in India independently yeah. since like the 12th century. But also what happened in India was the development of Madras fabric, which then got sent over to the Caribbean. I see. And so... Yeah. The Madras fabric, which is worn throughout the Caribbean islands, is actually mm. only called Madras once it leaves India. But it developed in an area of India that was called Madras, which is now called Chennai. And now, um, one thing that I always talk about is the, the you know, the, the Maasai and that image of them mm -hmm. with the red tartan. Yeah. Now, and, it, and it was really strange. It was only recently that I sort of, sort of thought, started to think, why do Maasais wear this red tartan? So can you explain that a bit for sure. us? Sure. Well, well, we've got pictures of it here now as well. What, what, interestingly, what happened is that a, a gentleman from India, when the migration of Indians went over to Kenya, took the tartan patterns and the Czech patterns that had been developed in India, in southern India, over to Kenya mm. and then started to weave and design Maasai shukas that then the Maasai kind of took on and thought, well, that's quite attractive. Um, made them in red, lots of different types of red, lots of different patterns of red, because terracotta and um, is part of their whole yeah. culture. Now, I, you're taking me through these fabrics before. Let me know, how could these sort of be worn? So this one in particular, um, this is a shukar and it's just worn as a wrap. OK, then. But um, these ones are... These ones are madras that's worn in the Caribbean and they okay. can be sort of tied, they're used to as tie as you, you can do one on my head. I'll have a go, I'll yeah. Go, why don't I put the wrap on while you do the hair? Let's give this a go. Let's see. We're going to do this live on television. I can, go on, I, have a go on that we, one. We, 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 we haven't got much time, I don't think. Let's see how we... Is this a good spot? I'll, I'll just ask the directors if this is a good okay. spot to do it in. Is this... This is all right? OK, then. So, so now, this one, what do I do? You've got to try and do two things. I'm very sorry. That's OK. Come on through. Let I've me take you that for you. I can, we can put that down there. OK, so I'm going to wrap this one over my shoulder, so, is it? Yeah, yep, put just that one around your shoulders. This one around my shoulder. That's it, yeah. that's it, yeah. And, OK. And then uh, probably a bit like that as well. There okay. we go. And, and what did you say this was called Maasai again? Maasai styling. That's a shuka. Shuka, OK, yeah. with Maasai styling. Yeah. And now you're going to give me a little so headdress. So now I'm going to try and do you a head wrap. OK, I'm going to so, just hold on, make sure my earpiece doesn't come out there. Keep okay. going. OK, so we're at the front. <laughs> OK. <laughs> 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 I, I, can, I can hear our... <laughs> I can hear our global business editor saying that's an improvement. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm tucking you in at the front okay, here. So you, I can't see what's happening, so you have to explain what you're doing so, to, um, I guess, the people who are so watching. So at the moment, okay. I'm giving you just a very quick Caribbean head wrap, okay, which Carib is usually found, yep. this particular Ooh. one. Are you OK there? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm this good. particular one I'm is good. usually seen in places like Cariacu okay. or Tobago. OK. So I'm going to open this bit, these bits out. All right. I hope you can see. Uh, uh, <laughs> it does look very... It looks a little... Actually, looks slightly looks more nonplussed than I've seen him for a while. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it was, it was looks, almost shut him up. <laughs> so, so that very quickly... Very okay. quickly, you have a, uh, okay. uh, a Caribbean head wrap so, and a brilliant. Kenyan shuka. Check it out. Take a seat. Can you tell us um, where can we catch out catch this exhibition? So the exhibition will be held at um, Craft Central, which is in Clerkenwell, mm -hmm. and it opens to the public from the 5th 
to the 30th of August. But Arise will be there before it opens as well, doing a report, so you'll be able to catch more on that. It's now back to, I guess, everyone on the desk there. Michael Wilson, <laughs> and Heather Scott, <laughs> and Charles Anugolu. Thank, thank you very much. <laughs> Looking very yes, cool. Yes, really quite yes. extraordinary <laughs> look. That, I'd pay I money say. to see that. I would pay you? money to yeah. see that. Hope yeah. it doesn't go on YouTube. Yeah. All you have to do is, for the, the, the Maasai thing, is knock out one of your teeth <laughs> yeah, yeah. at the bottom. <laughs> but you have to kill a lion first. And stand oh. on one leg for and about yes. three days. Yeah, yes. we can't allow you to kill a lion now. Not in today's world. No, exactly, exactly.